<laughs> there were times when uh, we, well, Lou and I both walked off at the direction of Ivan's. Get out of the studio. Oh, he threw me Get out, out of the building. Numerous times. We, 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 he threw oh, us out of the building. Go I home. Would... You're fired. <laughs> and Lou, w we would walk out, but Lou would walk out. <laughs> I would go outside. Was, <laughs> yeah. Take Lou would walk. leave. It would actually leave the building, and then... Uh, well, about two hours later, he was allowed back. Two in, hours that, later, right? Because I did. Because I left the last time on my own accord. I actually used the F word on the air. You remember that? Yeah, Luke? sure. I said the F word. I walked that. out, and then I left. I went downstairs in the elevator at the old Madison Square Garden place. And I, who was it that came down to get me? And they're like, I just wanted to come back up. I'm like, what do I give a crap what I just wanted? So tell I must to go up himself. But I, I ended up coming back, of course, and uh, all's well that ended well. Was it Warner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Warner. Yeah, yeah doubt we're, it. we're getting rid of Warner because he's down in Florida. Can I stop lying to everybody. You know, I will say this, and I told this, uh, I've had this conversation with Bernie a million times here. I was so angry the way that I was treated, the way he treated you guys uh, for years. It was miserable. There was no other way to put it. It was just, it was really miserable. I, I would have anxiety attacks every Sunday. We've been over this a million times. But uh, the longer he's gone now, and uh, now he's gone over two years in December, I, I, there's a part of me that actually misses him. I, I, can't, I can't explain it. It must be some type of, like, battered wife syndrome that people go through, I swear to God. But because when, yeah. when he was there, I hated him, and I hated going. Like, I hated going. I remember when I got fired in 2005, Danielle was crying. And she said, I said, what are you crying about? I said, I'm free. And she said, yes, but Ava is nine months old, and we need that six-figure salary. And I said, what good is that six-figure salary, Danielle, if one day I just jump off a roof or die of a heart attack? I can't work for this scumbag anymore. And, but yeah, she, she, it, it was tough. You had to be. You had to wear a, a, a very strong psychological helmet yeah. to work for, for Imus, which uh, Lou and I did for many years yeah. successfully. We, no, we longer actually, than me. Yeah. We saw many we people till the end. who couldn't do it. We yeah, just, right. it was, yeah, But now, now I kind of miss him. I don't know. I, you know, we, you know, the last couple of years, he basically went to work with a with a gun and a mask. I mean, the amount of money they paid him, cumulus and ABC, was ridiculous, and he wasn't getting least, any ratings. I mean, we get much, much, much better ratings on Bernie and said that Imus got the last five years combined. But you know, he was he had the name. It was Imus. So yeah, I guess that no was doubt. it. I guess you know. he was. Uh, it was a revenue uh, machine, is what he was. And uh, but uh, like you say, you know, his last couple of years went uh, the most stellar. What do you way. think? Let's be I kind. Miss, let's be kind. That, that's be that's being kind. What, what do you think? I miss would say about Joe Biden. Uh, well, he was. Uh, he was. He, he would went wherever the wind was blowing, whichever way the wind was blowing. That was uh, Mr. Imus. So uh, regarding politics. So what would he say about Joe Biden early on? He would he would have been a fan, right? And now, of course, he would be. Uh, you know, the old man is a, a freaking disaster or whatever. Right, but he, he, he would he, be pre very predictable. But he and, always found a way. To, and time is his credit, and this is why he's, he was able to get listeners on both sides. He like uh, he would come on the air and go that 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 uh, blubber titty. Uh, blubber to the uh, Trump. Uh, but then the next day he'd go, but I got to tell you, he's a great president. He would always find a way to criticize and flatter the same and person. Take, take, and, and take both he, sides. Right. And I think he would do the same thing with Joe Biden. I, I think he would, like Bill O'Reilly does that. Bill O'Reilly comes on it, like he says, I felt badly when, a, when Biden fell off the bike. Me, I couldn't give a rat's ass. I mean, p please. Well, listen, we talked about it, and I, we talked about it when Bill O'Reilly's uh, 725 report earlier in the week. And he said that he felt bad and people shouldn't make fun of him. But uh, if, if Joe Biden is evil, let's say, and I believe he is evil, he's not only incompetent, he's evil. He's encouraging, he's using government money to uh, encourage kids to have, uh, you know, puberty blockers, to ha ha be chemically castrated, to have young girls to have their breasts taken off. I mean, so that's evil. So uh, when a person is evil... When is it uh, 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 okay to laugh at them falling off a bike? Uh, for example, I don't want to invoke Hitler. Let's invoke somebody uh, less evil than Hitler, but still evil. And then, then you would say uh, it's okay because the person was evil. Right. I mean, you, uh, you, you know you, what I mean. You, in, in a somewhat analogous situation, uh, you and Lou both guilty of laughing when I must fall off the horse. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, he would he he would tell you the same thing too. Uh, you know, he would point out that we laughed, we made made fun of him. He fell off the horse. It was hilarious, even though he broke ribs and uh, his lung was uh, his lung collapsed. He, we, uh, making me laugh again. But you know, it's funny. He actually encouraged it because uh, right, right, right. That was he thought. You know, he knew he was a pompous 
you know, insufferable ass. Yeah. And he knew he needed to be brought down a couple of notches, of which is why he always encouraged me to take him down it, it, as long as it was funny. Right. And that was uh, that was part of his mo. He was he, so, know, he, he was somewhat self deprecating, somewhat, and then eventually yes, he, he would get upset. And, He'd be like, "All right," and then he would get right. Then he get, get mad. mad. Then he get mad. Enough of that. Do, enough of that. Do, do you think and, though that O'Reilly, because he does this all the time, right? Like you and I are in the same camp. I, I believe that Joe Biden. Yes, I believe he's getting old. I believe he's got cognitive issues. I believe maybe he's even got dementia. But I also think he's an evil bastard. I really do. He's not just some nice old man who who has to eat food well, through yeah, a straw. That's what I just said. Yeah. Exactly. So, Exactly. Right. So, but do you, right, you and I agree. But do you think that O'Reilly really feels that when he comes on the station all the time and says, eh, I kind of feel bad. He's not the, the guy that, that Sid and Bernie uh, make him out to be. Think he really believes that? Uh, well, it's, it's, you know, it's Bill O'Reilly. I yeah. don't want to uh, analyze and criticize. And I'm not even criticizing, but Bill, Bill O'Reilly is he's sort of calculated. Yeah. He wants to stake out the middle ground. And uh, so he, he withholds his personal opinion. I don't think he really believes it. I think he, deep down inside, I mean, the way that Biden is ruining the country and doing these evil things, like with the kids, that's just one example. Right. And push pushing critical race theory and all this crap. Uh, I think he hates his guts as, as much as we do. Hmm. But, he, it, it, but professionally, he's got this uh, p position he wants to stake out yeah. as sort of a moderate, as sort yeah. of down the right. middle, I right. call balls and strikes. I don't, you know, I don't opine necessarily. I don't endorse people. That's what he says. But uh, you know, you can read between the lines if you want, and which is what we're doing right now. Ah, uh, see that? See you and I with two knuckleheads. We don't, we don't care. We don't. We're not looking for middle ground. Well, no, 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 no. It's 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 not that does that that doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. That that type of position. That and by the way, you know where Bill O'Reilly stands. Like I say, if you read between the lines, you right. know exactly where he stands. But that doesn't work for everybody because if you try to please everybody, you please nobody. Well, unless you know, you're, you got uh, to uh, take a side. Unless you're a hooker. Unless you're a hooker. Right. And, 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 and the same thing with Imus. <laughs> it's a different era. It's a different era a few years ago. Uh, you can do that. Yeah. You can't do that today. I, I don't believe you, you could do today what you could do a couple of years ago, which is try to play it down the middle. I just, I just don't, don't think... It would play. I don't think it would uh, go over with anybody personally. Anyway, that's my that's my personal opinion, and I'm sticking by it. I I give you my opinion. I hate the old bastard. He fell off the bike. I, I don't want to say out loud that uh, I just don't care. I think he's a evil son of a bitch, and uh, and anything bad that happens to him, he deserves it. All right, there you that, have it, that's folks. That's what I'm saying. That is, uh, see, even though Bernie doesn't feel well these days, he has maintained his. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like he's getting soft, by the way. Do you not Bernie. love this he country? He may be going for chemo, but he's not getting soft. Do uh, you not love this country? If you love this country, you hate people who are trying to ruin it. Uh, he's trying to ruin it. I, I hate him. I agree with you, too. I'm the same exact boat.